a chef doing steak pie with a tin of steak? Stick with me and I'll tell you the reason why. Hello and welcome to AntiDarren.com. How are you this wonderful, wonderful afternoon? Yes, it's wet, it's windy. We've even had the kitchen flooded out. We're in a ground floor flat. Anyway, I had a, I had a little message on um, Instagram asking me um, how I would use certain things that you get in a care package from the food bank. And one of those things was tinned steak. Tin steak for me is a wonderful, wonderful ingredient because it reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of um, steak pies that my gran used to make. And to be honest, a plate steak pie made with a tin of steak is a wonderful thing. So, because we can't get out to get anything fresh today, because you're a little bit skint and tin steak's a little bit easier. I'm going to show you how to adapt it to make it a little more unctuous, lovely, and how to um, make a steak pie on a budget, to be honest with you. And with that said, Let's go down to the bench and I'll start straight away with the pastry because I'm not going to use eggs, I'm not going to use anything like that. I'm just going to use flour, lard, butter and water. Very basic short crust pastry but lovely and light and crumbly and perfect. So here you go, into a large mixing bowl. Oh, where are we? We're going to put... A pound of plain flour, plain flour, all purpose flour, it really doesn't matter. On top of that, I'm going to add lard. Now you can use lard, you can use vegetable shortening um, if you're vegetarian, but if you're not and you're making a steak pie, so I'm assuming at this stage that you're not vegetarian, Lard gives it a lovely, what what's described as a short texture. It means it sort of melts in your mouth and it's crumbly, but still holds shape. So we're just going to cut that into a small dice. I'm doing this today deliberately by hand because, let's face it, not everybody has a food processor. Not everybody can afford a food processor. So it's just showing you that you don't need a specialist bits of equipment. In that bowl at the moment, we have a pound of flour and eight ounces of fat. That's four ounces of self, sorry, four ounces of, I can't get the words out today and I don't know why. So it's four ounces of butter, four ounces of lard, a good pinch of salt. With your hands, with your hands, get your hands in, coat all the fat with the flour and then just between your fingers and thumb, just rub them together. Really, really simply. There you go. That's roughly two minutes of rubbing in and you'll see there are some big lumps there are some small lumps but all the fats rubbed in together now i want to make a well in the center and i want to add a drizzle of cold water like so get a knife and just cut through it knife is your best thing to use once everything starts coming together, that's still too dry. So you put it in roughly about a tablespoon at a time. See, still, you'd think that started coming together, you'd think that was ready, but no. So I want a touch more water. That's about three, four tablespoons of water now. This should, bring, this should be the last blocks. 
and slowly let's remove that now yeah slowly out onto the bench and then we're going to do what's called chafing it which basically means bringing it together so it forms a nice co cohesive patty so with the heels of your hand and, your f and the heels of your hand and your uh, fingers fingers underneath down 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 then down three four you can apply quite a bit of pressure to this but you don't need a lot of pressure and that my darlings is your short crust pastry made oh, and the same with all pastries and flour products I'm going to make two pies out of this so I'm going to cut it in half all right let's just wrap this in some plastic wrap like so fridge it minimum 30 minutes or overnight will do it fine but minimum of 30 minutes this can all be done the day before you've got a little bit of oil in the pan and the oil that sorry or the fat that's in that pan is actually stuff that I used earlier on to fry some bacon in because bacon makes everything taste better. We're going to start with an onion. Really rough chop. Get that into there. On top of that, I'm just going to quarter some mushrooms. Because I'm not using any more fat in there, I'm going to Turn the light down to low, put a lid on and let them sweat in their own juices. And there you go. That's your mushrooms and onions. Nice golden to dark brown, ready to go in the steak pie mix. Yeah, the beauty of tin steak, there's very little you need to do to it. So we're just going to scoop it out of the tin. I know, when you get to this stage, it never does look particularly appetising. So there, I know, it doesn't look appetising at this stage. All we're going to add to that is the mushrooms, the onions, all those bacony juices that are in there. The beauty of the glass pie plate is you can make sure you can see the bottom of it and make sure as certain television programs tell you it's not got a soggy bottom. This has had roughly half an hour to rest. Yeah. We're just going to take that amount away. That's for the pie lid. I'm going to pop that down there. Put a good... Roll it into a circle. So get my rolling pin. Same as with any other pastry. We're going to start by tapping it down. So we get to keep it in a rough round. And then rolling right in front of you like so turn it 90 degrees and that is big that is rolled enough now to go onto my pie plate
not an egg wash on this at the minute around the outside yet again because we're doing this on a budget I'm using just plain old water with a little knife one two three little holes that is one of the nicest steak pies on a budget you're gonna make and let's be honest if you're on a budget you're looking at ways of getting things into people getting food into people and feeding them properly so if you are on the, in the unfortunate position and remember it can happen to anybody but if you are in the unfortunate position of having to use a food bank and you come across some of these ingredients like tin steak and stuff like that use it and use it well get it so that your family are eating properly i'm going to put these in the oven now uh, approximately 35 to 45 minutes until they're golden all the way round